this is Marcia Young with the Fiber Art Network, Fiber Art Now. I just wanted to check in with all of you and make sure you're accessing all of the exciting happenings that we have going on this summer. The first one is uh, our ebook series. It's a 10 week ebook series, and we're in, I think, the seventh week right now is Mixed Media 1, and then we'll be Mixed Media 2, uh, and then two more after that. It's gone so fast and been so very popular that I believe we're going to carry on through the fall and just um, continue offering ebooks along with your memberships and subscriptions. I don't know if we can keep up with the every single week, but we're keep an eye out because we're definitely going to be continuing to roll out um, ebooks maybe based on themes. Currently the first 10 were by medium, but there's so many other ways we could break down all of the archives that we've built over these this last decade. For example, portraiture or certain feelings or I mean there's just a wealth of ways. So keep an eye out for that this fall and currently um, go into your account and you can browse all of the ebooks, they'll all be there. If you are not a subscriber or, or member yet or if your um, subscription or membership has uh, expired, don't worry. When you renew or you subscribe or join, all of the ebooks will be there so you can devour all of them. <laughs> Um, and then of course all of the archives um, that would be in your account will still also be there. So if you have any trouble getting into your account, just go back to the email receipt that will give you your account information. You can go to fiberartnow.net slash access, put in that account ID and you're right there. If you have any trouble, email us at hello at fiberartnow.net and we will just send you a direct link in. So then you would never have to remember an account number again. Can you imagine such a thing? Anyway, um, the next thing is that we are getting ready for the fall issue and we'll be back on track and you'll be receiving it, many of you, most of you even, in your actual mailbox as well as your inbox. The work that is being submitted to at least four of the five current calls for entry, selected work will appear in that issue. And we're now just brainstorming something really different for this issue as we come back and hope to um, convey a sense of recovery and renewal to all of you. Uh, and we'll be looking at work and stories and inspiration that will convey that. So that leads me directly into submissions. So go to fiberartnow.net slash submissions. And that's where you can enter your work to any of the five submissions that we have, the open calls we have right now. Read about each one, decide which one or ones you want to enter and go through the process. Um, it's 50% discount for anyone who's a subscriber or, or a member. And um, we have, there are awards in each one. Everyone who's selected by the jurors gets a year of membership for free or, or will renew your membership for free. So it's, it's worth it. And you know, I've always found that deadlines and are helpful. <laughs> anyway, next is our, um, our new grants. You know what? We decided to add two more grants, special project grants. And we're looking forward to seeing um, interesting projects that are inspiring you right now or hoping that this grant application will inspire interesting projects for you, One, either way. So to learn more about that, go to fiberartnow.net slash grants. And if you want to go right to the application, fiberartnow.net slash grants app, A-P-P. Um, the last thing is our July screensaver. It's just for fun. Every month we are sending out a screensaver to everyone and you can download it and be inspired all month long. And that is on our blog. So fiberartnow.net slash blog. And if you scroll down there, you'll, you'll find the uh, screensaver for this month. And it's just a quick download. So one last thought to leave you with today is a quote by Ruth Asawa. She's an artist that I greatly admire and um, many of you I'm sure know of her or even knew her. And if you don't, um, she's one that you'd wanna look up. Uh, here's the quote. The best ideas come unexpectedly from a conversation or a common activity, like watering the garden. These can get lost or slip away if not acted on when they occur. So whatever you're doing, any inspiration that happens, act on it right away. No reason to wait, right? Thank you all for everything and I wish you the best.